Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to tie the FG knot, which is a great knot for tying your leaders from mono to braid. Alright, so what you want to do first is just grab your braid, which will be usually on your reel. So you just want to make like a big loop here. And when you got that, you want to get the tie again and the line and just wrap it around your pinky. So you got some tension here, you want this to be nice and tight so you have control over it. And then you just want to get your mono, put it underneath here, let's get that to focus. And what you want to do is you want to twist it and then run the line back through. But right here, an easy way to do it, and easy, it's the same way, just an easy way to think of it, is once you've got it under here, you just want to wrap it around. It just makes it so much easier. And then it gets back to here. So you just want to wrap it. So you want to go over the top, under. Next side, over the top, under. Next side, over the top, and under. You just want to do that about 20 times. And then each time you get that, you just want to make sure you've got that nice and snug down on the line here. All right, so we just keep doing that. Okay guys, so once you've got that tied, you've got about, here, yeah, just to get this focused. Once you've got about 20 of those wraps, next thing you wanna do is you can just take off the line off of your pinky after it's lost circulation. All right, you don't wanna do it too tight, obviously. And then once you've got that, we're gonna get our tag in, and we're gonna do a half hitch over the mono tag in and the main line of the braid. But make sure you have your braid quite tight onto that mono, otherwise it'll just slip really. Okay, so once you've got that, just wanna put those two together. Try to get this one. And if you guys don't know what a half hitch is, I'll just quickly show you that. So you just got two there. You wanna wrap, make a little loop, and then from the other side, is where the tag end goes through and it just creates like a little it's kind of like an overhand but on a line all right and then you got that nice and tight so if i had that off camera and that'll just get it nice and snug and tight and then you just want to do that again a few times but you want to do it the opposite way each time so last time I went that way and then put the tag in through. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the loop just like that on this side. And then pull that through. You just want to do that about three or four times. I'm only going to do this three times because it's only connecting my backing to my braid. So it's not quite as important because a lot of the braid will probably not even get accessed too much. And it's not like it's from my leader. It's not gonna take too much shock as it usually would. Just wanna make sure every hitch is tight. So we're just gonna do another one of those. <clears throat> And then right there, your knot shouldn't slip, even though it's not finished. That's a great knot. It's not gonna slip, even at that. But, I like to do a finishing knot on here. So what you wanna do, sorry if I keep going off camera. All right, so you got your main line and your tag here. You just wanna, I think it's called an L. But I not, I'm not 100% sure. I just forgot the name of it, but just like that, you're gonna make a loop, and then with your tag in, you wanna run that through around this here about four times or so. So you wanna wrap, actually, I'm gonna run that through 
few times. One, two, three, four, and then I'll just do one more. All right, so that's down, and we're not gonna pull this through just yet. We're gonna run the tag end down with the knot, and then we're gonna grab this, and then put the wraps from these twists over the line. So, we're just gonna do that. This is really hard to do in this camera setup I got. So one, two, three. All right, so you got that through. And then get the tag in and just pull that down. Don't put the tag in through, just pull that down. So if I went off camera, I'm really sorry. All right, now make sure that's nice and tight. Now this knot is literally impossible to slip if I can get that focus. It's not focusing right now. But anyway, we'll cut the tag end off. You want to cut it off real short. And then recall that in case it slips over the end. All right. So now you got that. Got tagging off the braid, and you can go really short, but it's not too important that it goes too short. Hopefully double focus. It's not focusing right now. Ah, here we go. Alright, that's it. That's the knot done. It's a great knot, we will not slip. And the great thing about this is you don't have your leader. If you're doing this for leader, you don't have it double lapping and then getting caught in your guides. So thanks guys, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Okay guys, so we just got my leader and my braid here, and this is the FG knot that's started. So this is thicker, so it'll be easy to see. And you can see I got that focused, and I already got two hitch knots on here, half hitches. And now I'll just do another one, so you can see. So just gonna tie that. So you just want to wrap it around the opposite way, each way it wants to, just remember to be making sure you make it opposite. So you got that loop there on the other side. Run your line through, which is very hard to do when I'm looking through the camera. Okay. Run your line through, pull it down tight, cinch it down. Now we're just doing another one of those. Make sure it's the opposite. Otherwise, if you do the opposite, it won't really work and it'll just like make a little spark. It'll just, it will not work properly. Just trying to make sure that it is the opposite. So we got a few there. Just put one more. guys just want to make sure this is nice and tight because as you guys know braid does not stretch so however tight you have this is going to be how tight the knot is and with this knot it kind of relies on 
big tension. So, and it's also not like mono, so if you tie it with mono, it's kind of gonna, you know, tighten up on itself, but braid won't do that. Alright. So got that. So it looks like it's nice and slim in profile. Go through the lines very easy. So, when we get to there, we want to clip off our mono tag in, we're not done yet, so we're not going to cut it all of it off. Alright, so we got that cut down very close. So, now we just want to do our finishing knot. So for that, we just want to make a loop, a little loop here. One through. Two. from here we're just going to run our tag end across the knot pull that up here like that it's good if you can get your braid tightened up so I'm just going to pull my reel back there and then these wraps here we're going to wrap onto the line so you just want to make sure you're wrapping it the opposite way so let's start doing that and then you'll notice that those wraps will start to kind of just disappear because they're going onto here. Then when you get those on, you don't want to put the line through, but you just want to pull it. So that loop is going to start to disappear if you can see that there. Let down tight. And pull the tag in. All right. So there it is. Now, after tying that finishing knot, that'll also stop it from getting caught in the guides. All right, so we're just gonna cut the tag end off. So I just got nail clippers here. You get it down nice and close. And there it is. Try to get it to focus. Thanks guys for watching this and um, just comment down below if you want to see any other knots that you want to know how to tie and uh, yeah.